Uh, what was interesting was to hear him say that he'd been looking at Mignolet off his line a lot during the game and, you know, he's thinking about things now and, and there's an intelligence to his game. Yeah. Actually. He's not just like no. dashing at him, is he? His link up was good. Yeah. His confidence is so high and... Uh, it's it's a, it's a big dilemma for yeah. Roy whether he's going to play him or Harry Kane or maybe even both of them yeah. in the Euro. Yeah, it would certainly give them something, wouldn't it? Mm. Um, as for Liverpool, what about what do you make of their progress under Klopp? It's not, you know, it's a bit staccato, isn't it? Um, he's obviously brought a, a way of playing. You can see the star that he wants to go in, and yeah. I think that's very clear. But it just seems to me that they're a little bit inconsistent with it, and that little cutting edge that they haven't quite got. I think Sturridge. They definitely missed Sturridge. You could see in the game that he played at Southampton earlier in the season in the cup that yeah. just what he brings, that creativity. When, when you come into a club and you try and change a whole style, that's got to take time, doesn't it? For sure, for sure. And, and I think, you know, for Jürgen Klopp, I think he'll be looking at this season as a, a getting a look at the league, getting a feel for it, understanding what team, what players he's got in his squad and what he might need in the summer. So yeah. you can imagine that he's put his stamp on it, but I think he'll probably see more towards the, the end of the season or next season. Yeah. Takes time. Uh, the worst kept secret in football was confirmed on Monday when Manchester City announced that Pep Guardiola will be taking over in the summer. Manuel Pellegrini could lead his side to four trophies before he arrives, and that quest continued at the Stadium of Light, watched by Steve Wilson. This is Manuel Pellegrini.